you were wondering, the case was $349, and I purchased it for $159. You're lying. No, I have the receipt. Huh. Anybody can get a receipt these days. I have the receipt. It was one seventy nine. I bet it was. It was. But anyway, moving on. What I was looking at was this right here. This is really interesting. On what this page right here, it says only eighty millimeter water cool radiators are supported. Eighty? That doesn't sound right. One hundred and twenty maybe, but eighty millimeter. I don't know, We're, uh, we'll have to look into that. Uh, before I even bought this case, I already planned on doing some modifications to it, uh, which is why I got the brackets and stuff. This is kind of a weird way of assembling it. You almost have to do it backwards. Like you have to install the water pump and everything. The radiator needs to go on. The HD bracket needs to go on. Uh, like all this stuff needs to go on. And then the motherboard. So, like right here, after successfully installing the back panel device, install the computer's motherboard. So, the motherboard's like the last thing you put in this thing. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Made of metal. Jeez. You know what? This is like the support bracket for it. So, there should be two of those in here so there's the other support bracket nice white see that that's been powder coated powder coating always gives that ripple look when the light hits it but it's pretty it looks good I'm glad that these are thick steel I was afraid that this might be kind of thin but they're actually they're not but they go together like that to form the base which it kind of looks like a shield don't it look see looks like a shield not a very good one because it has holes in it and stuff all right moving on all right let's take a look what we got here looks like we got some SATA some zip ties an RGB fan and some screws, some hardware. Um, looks like a SATA to three pin five volt. That's what it looks like. Uh, let's see here, what's this? What's in here? Mm, what are these? Oh, they're standoffs. I got it. Okay, so these are the standoffs for the brackets. This is, oh, uh, you know what? These are the standoffs for the glass. That's what they are. These are also nicely powder coated like a white color. Get the, that right there is the SD bracket that's inside of that. All right, let's see here. We have, uh, you know, the usual stuff, USB 3.0. This is where our IO panel is. Let's see here, how do I just pick it up? There is the actual plate. Now I think there's glass underneath this, so I don't wanna ding it up or anything. All right, so this, I'm trying to orient it. Okay, so like that, that's kinda the way it goes. Let's see here. So these two will go in like that. It'll lock in and then that will support the case. Let's see here. You know, I was wondering, does this, I hope this takes a standard power supply. Um, and I'm assuming that this little cover right here is to hide some of the cables. There really is no hiding anything on this. This is a very open framed case. That's okay though, we plan on extremely modifying it. Here's our front panel. Ooh, I like that button, that feels nice. I bet it glows too. USB 3.0, 2.0, headphone, jack, that kind of stuff. Well, let's see here, let me see something. If I was to, oh 
Jeez. I would say that all in all, this thing probably weighs 35, maybe 40 pounds. So this is the motherboard side. Now, one thing I noticed is that your motherboard sits in here sideways. So the graphics card would sit like this in it. And then you can see where the PCI Express brackets go to hold the graphics card upright, which means that your CPU will be sitting that way. So this will be your pass through for like your hoses and your cables and whatever else you want. And it looks like the, the it's already pre-mounted. Now, one thing I was looking at with this case is that there's a little bit of flexibility with it. You can kind of, uh, you can kind of do a couple things with it. Hmm. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? We remove this layer here. Oh yeah, there's the glass panels. Those look really nice. These are tempered glass panels. Ooh, these feel super light, super cheap. Very lightweight, this feels, this glass. I do like how it has their brand kind of edger sketched into it. Let's see here, there's two of these. There's uh, these. All right, now what these are, these are the RGB panels. See, they have the light, you can see the RGBs in them. So these are the RGB panels that go with it. That's kind of cool. What an interesting way of making them. It's like metal and acrylic. But they feel pretty solid, actually. All right, so um, that's everything. I don't see anything else in the box. Pretty straightforward. Let's... um. Let's assemble it real quick. to stop the build because I wanted to point out a couple of things that I've noticed already about the case. One, uh, the powder coat layer that they put on this is extremely thin. Look at that. I already notched it when I was using the Allen wrench. I just barely touched it and scraped away some of the paint. Also, when it comes to this glass panel, Usually, manufacturers will put a little rubber, uh, will put a little rubber grommet in between here, so that way you don't get this. See that? That's not good. You don't want that. And either I'm not seeing it or I'm overlooking them, but I do not see any rubber grommets or anything to go in there. Um, the other thing that I noticed was if you flip it around to this side, all of these pegs um, thread into one another. This one, however, it's stripped. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. Anyway, all of the threads from about here to about right there, all the threads are gone. See, they've been stripped off. See that right there? They're, they look like they're there, but they're not. They're stripped. But anyway, it, um, see, it doesn't bite. It won't, it won't let me screw it in. 
That's because those first couple layers right there, teeth are stripped off. So that's great. I'm going to have to fix that. Don't know why that came that way. So I'm going to use the included SATA to 5 volt. Um, the LED panels, these two, they can be put together. See that? They got a pigtail on them. So that way, if you want to, you could run your two plugs together and run two lights off of one plug, which is a nice feature. That's how I'm going to power these two right now. Okay. I just wanted to show you that. Sweet. You guys like it? I uh, use the included remote here. So there's like a purple blue. Let's see here. Let's see if I can give it a different color. Uh, and then there's like a yellow. Got a couple different settings. There's Let's see, what color is this? I'm trying to figure out where the thing is. Oh, that's blue. Blue looks cool. Definitely adds to the case, doesn't it? That's going to be cool once we get it all done up. Purple, white, yellow, red. There's like a pink. That's, ooh, that's real pretty. Green, blue. And then RGB, baby. Isn't that cool, guys? So, yeah. That is my small little case review. I just wanted to show you guys it. What do y'all think about it? I'll let you guys know how it's like when it comes time to building in it. Um, I'll let you know how I'm going to solve the grommet issue. Um, how I'm going to solve that one little screw being missed. I could probably just put a little... Maybe a little super... Or no... Uh, hot glue put a little hot glue on the bolt fill up the void stick it in there twist it let it dry hard Maybe a little super glue. I don't know. Maybe some thread tape will work. Oh, that's kind of a cool it's Going through like all of its faces and stuff But yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that I hope you guys like the case um, If you're excited about it, let me know put a comment below subscribe if you're new If you have any questions about the case, let me know um, it's pretty straightforward. There's not too much to say about it. Um, although we'll know once we go to build in it. That's really what it's going to be like it's when we build in it. Alright guys, well I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. You guys be cool.